Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this is so random topic in my channel that we are going to talk about today. So this is not for moms or babies or parenthood. This is for my co-nurses or newly grad nurses that want to take this opportunities that they are staying at home to prepare for their licensure exam. Okay, NCLEX, NCLEX, NCLEX. This licensure examination really challenged me a lot. I have my license back in the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, Doha, Qatar, and Singapore. But this one, NCLEX, is the exam that I can really tell you that will really make you use your critical thinking skills. So for you guys that are planning to take the NCLEX, I think this is a perfect time to start your review. Quarantine time, staying at home time, no distraction, no partying, no going outside, no meeting up with friends. This is really it. This is the perfect time for you to be able to focus on your review. There's nothing else to do, right? So why not make your quarantine time, stay at home time, be productive? Okay, let's start. Tip number one. NCLEX format, as we know, they use CAT format, which stands for Computerized Adaptive Testing, meaning no single exam is identical. The exam will give you minimum of 75 questions and maximum of 265 questions. There's a lot of myths out there about these numbers. The most popular one is that the computer will shut down in the 75 questions and then that's it, your pass. You heard this multiple times or a million times to somebody or someone out there that, you know, already passed. But that is not true. I have friends and know a lot of nurses that reached the 75 questions and the computer shut down and guess what? They failed the exam. I don't know why, but it proved to me that that, that the thing of 75 questions that's going to shut down and your pass is not true. And also, I have a friend that took the exam and ended up answering up to 264 questions and the computer shut down. And guess what? She ended up passing the exam. Okay, let's talk about how this things works. You start on the line zero with each correct answers. The computer will give you more harder questions. And to be able to pass, you need to reach the point above the pass line. Tip number two, stress management. Anxiety is a real thing, guys, especially if you are not prepared. During the exam day, you might experience different kind of things like you have butterfly in your stomach, you have headache, you have diarrhea, you can't focus. This is how your body responds to stress. So that's why stress management is very important. How to keep your stress at minimum level? Number one, prepare for the exam. Study, study, and study. Number two, exercise and have enough sleep. So we all can do that now because we are in a quarantine mode or stay at home situation, right? And the third one, the day before the exam, just take a break. Drive to the examination center so for you to know how many minutes or hour it takes for you to get there. On the exam day, be there at least 30 minutes early so, you know, to avoid cramming. The next one is make your study plan. You can study every day, every other day, or every week. It's up to you. You're, you're the only one that knows how your body or your mind can handle this. The next one is invest in resources. Investing in resources, guys, is really worth it. Since now that you can't really attend a classroom review because of all this quarantine and stay at home and social distancing, try to find online class. Well, what I did before is I used the Kaplan. They're offering different kind of packages and the price, it depends on how long you're gonna avail the package. I am not related to any review centers or to Kaplan or whatever, but I'm just sharing, you know, the thing that I use. So I'm gonna give you tips about books. Don't try to finish reading the book, okay? It's a lot to take. It is not a waste of time, but 
I hate to say this, it is really a waste of time. You guys been studying for four years if you're bachelor, right? Or as if you're associate degree, you've been studying for two years. So you guys don't need to go through all of this all over again. You have the stock knowledge. You've been reading this for four years or two years. So the knowledge, the theories is already in your head. It's already in your whatever subconscious or in your mind. I am sharing this because I did that and it didn't really help. So for me, book is just one of the resources or a manual that you can really use if you really looking for an explanation to a certain question. Okay, go back to review center or online class. So these online classes will give you tons of practice questions with explanations and strategies how to pick the best answer. As we all know, they're gonna give us or they're gonna give you one question and four options or answers that is really gonna look like all of them are the best answers but you need to pick the best best one and the right one so this review classes they will give you strategies they will teach you how to pick the best answers in Kaplan they will teach you first the strategies then practice question that where you can apply what you've learned on the phase one which is the strategies and techniques and then explanations which includes the theories so also in online class there's live chat that you can use to ask questions and there's somebody there that's going to answer whatever questions that you have so what happened to me is after i finished the kaplan review for two months i decided to buy a u world package with is all practice questions so after i finished all the reviews and practice questions i gave birth so guess what? I have to reschedule my exam date. And thank God I passed the exam. Anyway, enough of my little life story. The main key to pass NCLEX or any kind of exams is to practice, practice, and practice the different type of questions. So this is the best and the most important way to prepare and pass the exam. The last one is believe in yourself, think positive, stand in front of the mirror and tell yourself repeatedly, I will pass the exam, I will pass the exam, and I will pass the exam. So you that is watching this video right now, now I'm going to tell you, congratulations. I am going to end this video by saying thank you to all the nurses and the healthcare workers that are our heroes of today for all your vocations. You guys are always in our prayers. Please stay safe and God bless you. Thank you for watching this video and see you on my next video. Bye.